Welcome back to 2M2X, two minute videos on digital transformation sponsored by Informulate. So let's say you're a manager or an executive acting as a client to a software team, whether that's internal or external. So you ask for things and at some point something gets delivered. Sometimes things break, sometimes you get bad data and sometimes it works out. So how does your software team compare with the industry? Are they good or atrocious? Are they bad or just average? Are your own expectations realistic? In today's episode, we'll be talking about metrics. But first, we need to talk about relationships and trust building. Going about the conversation of productivity and quality can be taken personally. So do it respectfully and with an open mind, but without fear. So for this video, I will talk in simple terms. Generally, when evaluating delivery, we think of three things. Efficiency or productivity, which is basically how fast things are getting done. Two, quality how many new issues were created as a result of the changes that were made, and three, effectiveness. Are the things that you built actually helping the business? So in software DevOps terms, the four DORA metrics are generally good for efficiency and quality conversations, which is first up, deployment frequency. You should be deploying greater than once a month, preferably once a week. Second, lead time for changes should be the time taken from a piece of work going from development complete to production should be less than a week. Three, mean time to recovery, that is a time to restore service from an outage should be low. Average should be preferably less than one hour. And finally, failure rate, bugs to tickets ratio should be one in seven to be considered good. Now, effectiveness is different. You could have a highly efficient software team building quality features that are nice and shiny that no one uses. So product management should come up with their own domain specific metrics such as retention rate, customer lifetime value, and annualized savings to ensure that new investment is resulting in increased enterprise value. So what metrics do you use for productivity measurement? Comment below and I will see you next week.